All right, I'm the Flight Rate Master, and today we're answering a viewer question that was a little more than I can answer in my AMA video coming up Wednesday. All right, Chris Beck answer, uh, asked about, how about shop favoritism from management? Technicians being spoon-fed gravy while others having to struggle to get something sold on oil changes and rotates. And there's two sides to this. And I'm gonna play devil's advocate first. Now, one of the things you have to understand is you don't always see the whole picture in the shop. That technician that's spoon-fed, those might be returning recommendations. Six months ago, he might've wrote up a timing belt on a Honda and it's back for that. And they're taking care of their technician by getting his recommendations back to him. Your perception may be that they're feeding him, but in actuality, they're doing what they're supposed to do, and that is get technicians back the, the service work they recommended. On the other side of that, if that's not what's going on, that is horrible. I hate it. It bugs the absolute snot out of me when somebody's doing that in a shop. It, it does. I mean, I understand. Somebody's having a rough day. I will for sure give them some gravy. If they've gotten their butt kicked on a job. You know, I'm going to give them a little something that's a little easier to deal with and, you know, maybe help their day go better, maybe help their attitude, possibly help their paycheck. On the other side of it, I'm not giving, oh, well, that, that, that gravy, that, that's, got, that's got to go to, to, to you know, X, Y, Z. Because, you know, he's my boy. No, I hate that. It is just something I cannot stand. I do my best, not always, I'm, a, I'm, I'm human, but I do my best to spread out the possible gravy, i.e., oh, you know, that car, that Honda, you know, is... Looked in the Carfax, it doesn't have a timing belt done. According to Carfax, hmm, that might be a good one for, you know, this guy. Because, well, he's gotten his butt kicked or he's, you know, his tickets have declined. I try to keep track of what's going on in the shop, where everybody stands on as far as hours, and try to go, here's something a little better. Hopefully it'll sell. Here's something that, you know, might actually get you some hours. I do my best because I don't, I can't stand that. Now, what can you do at your shop? There is not a lot if that's the guy that's assigning work is the top guy because nothing you say is gonna change it. I'm sorry. As much as I'd like to say, oh, you could do this, if that guy has a boss, like here, if somebody doesn't like how I'm distributing work, they can go to the boss and complain about me. But there's somebody to go to if they have a problem with how I'm running the shop. If you don't have that option, it's not gonna change. Until somebody gets fired, quits, etc., it's not gonna change. If it is actually happening, you know, you can go to talk to the boss and go, listen, you know, it, are those, you know, his previous recs that are going back to him or are, you know, I mean, I, I, I need work too, you know, but chances are if he is feeding that guy, he's going to be BSing you and you're not going to get a straight story no matter what. So it's really, you know, all you can do is go, you know, come on, I need a little something, something too, but it, it's, I'd love to say there's a solution only if he has a boss and you can complain to him and he will listen or she, but that's pretty much it. If, if that's the end all be all, nothing's gonna change until somebody gets fired, quits, or you leave. I'm sorry. I mean, I would love to have a better solution, but I don't. So I hope it was helpful. And as always, thanks for watching. I am the flat rate master.